हेलो एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज अमित एंड यू आर वाचिंग एप्टीट्यूड 360 डॉट ऑनलाइन इन आ दिस इज दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 6 इन द सीरीज ऑफ फाइंडिंग नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द प्रीवियस 5 वीडियोस गो एंड वॉच देम यू विल फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन फाइंड इट ओवर हियर बट मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव सीन फर्स्ट फोर वीडियोस where we build uh, where we have we, we try to build upon our theory and video number 5 where we try to solve some some moderate level problems right in this video we would be solving very difficult problems uh, that would mostly be a uh, part of cat or gmat preparation if you are preparing for ssc cgl you can also watch this one but then this this is strictly for those people who are preparing for management uh, examinations right now having said that having said that this is what is my question out here a three digit number abc has two factors where abc are digits how many factors does a six digit number abc abc will be having now try to understand the the first thing when you're reading this problem you should you should be having this in your mind that if they are saying that uh, they they are saying that abc has got exactly two factors what does that mean abc is a prime number a prime number will have only two factors ab ye problem mein kahin likha nahi hai but then this is something that you will have to figure it out on your own abc abc is a is a prime number that is understanding number 1 now understanding number 2 how will you write a three digit number into a and into a six digit number which is abc and abc and i would say that abc this number can be written as abc into 1001 and and let us see how let us see how if you multiply 1001 with with abc what is that you should be having over here so this is going to be what c double zero and c and then b and double zero b and then and then a Double zero a. If you if you add these values, what is that you should be having? This is c, and then this is b and a, and c and b and a. Do you understand this thing? So that is the second analysis of this question. That if you have been given a b c, and they would like you to write a six digit number, how should you be writing? You should be writing as a b c into one zero zero one. Now. what if what if they could have given you ab a two digit number and and you needed to write a four digit number ab ab then you could have done this by ab into 10101 i hope you are understanding this thing had they given you a four digit number abcd and then they wanted you to write abcd abcd eight digit number you could have done this by writing a b c d into 1 000 and and 1 probably this is something this is something that nobody is gonna give you in the problem that is something that you will have to figure out on your own tabhi to ye problems ko thoda alag banate hain right otherwise agar theory se hi problem karna hota to fir to kya hi baat hoti so pehli cheez to hum yahan pe ye seekh rahe hain ki a b c is is a prime number right and the second thing that we are learning is abc can be written as abc into abc into 1001 now now try to understand this thing over here what if what if i take it ahead and and because the problem is asking me to find out as to how many factors are there in that number i would be doing this thing now the third analysis is 1001 can be written as 7 into 11 into 13 in video number 6 of divisibility rule we categorically talked about the divisibility rule of 1001 aur usi mein humne baat kari ki 101 ka rule kya hoga 1001 ka rule kya hoga 7 ki divisibility kya hogi 13 ki divisibility kya hogi to agar aapne video number 6 in the divisibility uh, rule series agar aapne nahi dekha you go in the description box or you go over here but but make sure that you have seen that one now 1001 is is a very good number right kyunki isko hamesha ye use hota hi rahega as a competitive examinations mein now what do we have is now if you understand we have got abc into 7 into 
11 into 13. Now, how many factors, how many factors this number will be having? Try to understand this. ABC is a ABC is a is a is a prime number, and hence this will be power 1. You cannot factorize this any further. So this will give you 2. 7 is to power 1 will give you 2. 11 is to power 1 will give you 2 and 13 is to power 1 will give you 2. So number of factors over here will come out as will come out as 16. I hope you're you're understanding this thing. So what did I do is I started from here. I started from here and I said that number one, if ABC is gonna be a prime number because it has got two factors only, number one. Number two, ABC, ABC can be written as ABC into 1001. Number three, 1001 can be written as 7 into 11 into 13, right? And then, and then what did we do is, what did we do is, we talked about ABC into 7 into 11 into 13 as, as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which is 16. So this number is going to be having exactly what, how many factors will it be having? It will be having exactly 16 factors. Is that okay? So probably you must be understanding as to what I am talking about, right? Now we will be going and, and solving this problem over here, which says that a number n squared has 15 factors. How many factors n can have? Now, understand this thing. If n squared has got 15 factors, how do we write 15? 15 can be written as 1 into 15, right? And then we can also write it as 3 into 5. 3 into 5 nothing else can be done uh, if it is a is to power 15 i can i can say that this is a prime number is to power 14 is that okay and if this is the case i can write that this is a prime number is to power 2 into another prime number and th that is how is the this is this is called the prime factorization right now now n square n square i would say is either a is to power 14 so i would be able to say that i would be able to say that n is going to be nothing but a is to power 7. I hope you're understanding this thing. Or, or n square can be can be a square into b is to power 4. So if it is a square into b is to power 4, we can write we can write n as and if you do if you find out the square root of this number, it will be nothing but a b square, right? Now, how many factors n will be having? This is a prime number is to power 7. The number of factors will be 8. Over here, over here, this is a, a is to power 1 and b square. So I would be able to say this is 1, this is 2. This is going to be 2 into 3, which is which is 6. So how many factors are we are we talking about? In, in this case, it is either 6 or it is either 6 or 8. It is such a simple problem, but then you should be able to uh, utilize all these things which we learned in the previous four videos of this series, right? Achha, agar ye cheez aapko samaj mein aati hai, so we will be going to, to this problem. If a three digit number ABC has three factors, now no longer they are saying that ABC has got two factors, rather the problem says that ABC has got three factors and how many, how many factors a six digit number ABC, ABC will be having. Now, if ABC has got three factors, try to understand this number will have to be a perfect square number. It has to be a perfect square number, right? Now, if it has to be a perfect square number, then I would be, I, I would be saying that ABC can be written as, as square of a two digit number right because it has got exactly exactly three factors so this is this has to be two plus one and it is a three digit number so it will have to be square of numbers that are prime right so it can be what abc can be 11 square or or it can be 13 square or it can be 17 square or 19 square and then it could be it could be 23 square or 29 square or finally finally it can be 31 square if you understand 11 square is 121 a three digit number 13 square 169 a three digit number 17 square 19 square up to 331 square 31 square is 961 
थर्टी टू स्क्वायर बिकम्स वन जीरो टू फोर सो वो नंबर हमारे को यहां पे नहीं लेना है बट देन आर ए बी सी विल बी विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड आउट ऑफ दीज सेवन पॉसिबिलिटीज एनी नंबर कै कैन हैपन राइट नाउ वन मोर थिंग दैट यू हैव लर्न इन द इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू इफ यू आर गिवेन एज ए बी सी ए बी सी कैन यू राइट दिस एज ए बी सी इन टू वन जीरो जीरो वन राइट एंड इफ यू फैक्ट्राइज दिस दिस फर्दर You will be having seven into eleven into thirteen. Is that okay? Now, I just said that ABC could be what any number thirteen is square, seventeen is square, nineteen is square, any one of them. So I I would say that we can segregate this. We can say what if what if ABC would be square of any one of these numbers? Why am I saying this? Because what if ABC does not have a factor common either with eleven or thirteen? So uh, so I would say that possibility number one. Possibility number one could be, it could be, it could be. I would say seventeen square, and and seven is to power one, and eleven is to power one, and then thirteen is to power one. So if you if you find out number of factors over here, how many factors you can you can find over here? You will be having this is two, so two plus one will be three. And two, and then this will be two, and then this will be two. So number of factors will come out as number of factors will come out as twenty-four in 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 the situation where you have seventeen. In at this place, at this place, either you have seventeen, or you have nineteen, or you have any number till thirty-one. It does not make a difference because. It will always be seven is to power one, eleven is to power one, and thirteen is to power one, and that number will be is to power two. And and when you will be finding out number of factors, आपको तो हमेशा ही twenty four निकल के आएगा, right? Now the second scenario is what if you will be having a factor which is common. Now if you will have to find out a factor which is gonna be which is gonna be common, try to understand this thing. Now this is the second situation that I am talking about. Uh, The second situation out here is, what if, what if this number is not seventeen? It is either eleven or thirteen, and then seven is to power one, and eleven is to power one, and then this this number. So this number will would become what? Eleven is to power three into seven is to power one, and and this is thirteen is to power one. So how many factors this is gonna have? This is gonna have exactly of here. This is four into. Two into two, and that is nothing but sixteen. So this this possibility will be having sixteen factors. At the place of eleven, we could have written thirteen as well. If you write eleven or thirteen, number of factors over here will be coming out as will be coming out as sixteen. Whereas if you put rest of these numbers, number of factors will be coming out as. Exactly twenty-four. So that is what is the answer of this problem. So what is the answer over here? Sixteen or or twenty-four. Option number D would be the right answer. So if you understand this thing, if you understand this thing, this is what we had in 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 this video. Uh, next video onwards, we will be starting this theory called remainder theorem. And this, you know what? I am saying that people feel that this is the most difficult topic. नंबर सिस्टम का रिमाइंडर थियरम है आई से दैट दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट वन बट आपको करना है क्या है अपनी थ्योरी डेवलप करनी पड़ेगी कई सारे लोग बाइनोमियल थ्योरम से लगाना शुरू करते हैं नो यू डोंट हैव टू डू दैट आप अपनी बेसिक वाली अंडरस्टैंडिंग पे टिके रहिए आप डिफिकल्ट से डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन एंड यू नो वट द ब्यूटी ऑफ रिमाइंडर थियरम प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सॉल्व एनी प्रॉब्लम इन टेन टू फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स नॉट मोर देन दैट अगर आपको वो कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में आता है प्रॉब्लम विल नॉट बी डिमांडिंग मोर देन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स फ्रॉम यू राइट तो अगले एंड व्हाट आई हैव डन इज बड़ी मेहनत से मैंने इलाबोरेट करके आई हैव मेड टेन और टेन टू ट्वेल्व वीडियोस आप उन सारी वीडियोस को देखो एंड आई विश कि आपको ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट है रिमाइंडर थियरम वो अच्छे से समझ में आ जाए ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड किसी भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन में जब आप एप्टीट्यूड लिखते हो तो एप्टीट्यूड का ट्वेंटी हमेशा नंबर सिस्टम से पूछा जाता है और उस ट्वेंटी में से फाइव जो होता है उस सारा का सारा कहीं ना कहीं एप्लीकेशन होता है रिमाइंडर थ्योरम का दैट इज व्हाई आई से दैट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोस आई हैव आई हैव पुट थिंग्स इन द सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स जस्ट फॉर यू जस्ट फॉर यू गाइस राइट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वन एंड आई एम गोना सी यू इन इन द वीडियो नंबर वन ऑफ रिमाइंडर थियरम बाय बाय एंड टेक केयर